Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a graph in Microsoft Excel for Mac 2015. This is the preview version. The first thing that you'll need to have is a set of data like I have here and then you create a graph based on that data right on the same page. So let's get started and show you how you can create a graph like this and then adjust it. I'm going to close this one so we start right from scratch. First go up to your file menu, go to New Workbook. Once you have a workbook, you're going to need two criteria, basically two columns of data. So let's say, for example, I wanted to create data about how much money I spend on each day of the week. So on the first cell, I would put in day to represent the days of the week. And on the second cell, I would definitely want to put in amount or cost. However you want to do it, it's okay. I'm going to highlight that. Um, I'll actually take the whole thing and make the font a little bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing. Once you do that, uh, you may want to put in the day here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and let's go to Friday. Now. On the second column, how much am I spending on each of these days? Well, on Monday, I spent $10. On Tuesday, I spent $20. On Wednesday, I spent $5. Thursday, I spent $45. And on Friday, I spent $100. So here, it shows me what the cost of the items on each of these days. So Monday represents the 10, Tuesday the 20, Wednesday the 5, Thursday the 45, and Friday the 100. Now I'm going to highlight all of those columns and I'm going to go up here to where it says insert. Now if you see the window like this, click the home screen and you'll see everything pop down. Then click insert and go to recommended charts. So these are the charts that you can choose from, a bar or a pie chart. Either way it's okay, it doesn't matter which one you go for. So in this case I'm going to choose the bar chart and as you can see it automatically created the chart. I'm going to grab this edge and make it a little bit bigger so that I can adjust it and I can even make it bigger than that if I choose. I can even squash it in if I want to. So that's what's really cool about it once you um, have created the chart. It's really highly customizable. Now as you can see when I'm clicking on the chart uh, these items are highlighted because that's the data that's represented in here. As you can see, Friday I spent the most, and here it shows my chart very clearly. If I click on the chart, I suddenly see something up here called chart design. I can pick the chart that I would like to have, and I can keep going. There's a whole bunch of variety of them, and you can pick the one that suits you best. If you want to change the chart type, you can simply go over here and choose a pie chart or you can go over here and choose an area chart and then you can even go into one of these uh, stock source ones but unfortunately that's not the right data for it so we can pick a different one here let's try a radar chart so as you can see all the different charts are very easy to switch to once you've put in the data so let's go back to the bar chart for a minute and actually let's go back to the pie chart and as you can see, there's some options over here for formatting um, and for chart design. And you can continue to go through it and pick the ones that you like best. And you can also go here and choose the color scheme that you like best so it matches your presentation. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Once you have this chart, you can export it and use it in PowerPoint or you can change the data, you can save this Excel file and let's say for example you want to use the same one every single week but change uh, the numbers based on the date you can say this is 30 and automatically the pie chart will change. See over here if I go to Friday I go down to 50 so keep in mind Friday is the big blue item over here um, you will see that it automatically changes and updates. So that's how you build a, a, a basically a pie chart or a barcode chart, whatever one that you would like to use. It's really easy, and once you're done, just remember to save it and uh, enjoy. Hope you liked the video.